Ladies and gentlemen, right now you're in tune to one of the wickedest shows in the UK, the Dominican M's Show, certified mad on iLiveUK.com. Yo, what's going on? It's K913 and you're locked into Dominican M Show. Uh, I don't really know who she is. She left makeup on my hoodie. Catch you guys later. It's the Booyah Queen, Carlin XP, representing from Dominica 767. And I'm here with Dominican M's and we're gonna shake up boom boom. Join me, Dominican M's, each and every Saturday for the Dominican M Show, 2 to 4 p.m. right here on I Love UK. Playing a variety of music with a heavy dose of Caribbean music, international news, hot topics, interviews, and lively debates. So make sure you listen to the Dominican M Show on I Love UK, changing the way you listen to radio.
Hi, Ryan. Hey, what's up? Let me put my headphones on. Yeah, whilst you're doing that, welcome everybody to the Dominique and M show. I'm your host. With you each and every Saturday between 2 and 4 p.m., I am joined by my amazing co host, the Don Gargon. The Don Carleon. <laughs> Mr. Skillet, how are you, babe? I'm okay, man. Got drenched on the way here like a gremlin. In it? What kind of weather we got this? <laughs> I know, but they did say they did tell us that you know expect heavy rainfall after this heat wave we've been having. So they it didn't did. it didn't arrive on Monday like it was supposed to. They so did. So like a Caribbean man, it shows up very you know fashionably late. <laughs> so yeah, as you know, stereotypes. We're not really into that today. I'm sorry. No. I, apologize. I apologize to anybody out there that I was I may have offended with my stereotypes. We're not as us. I'm a Caribbean myself. Exactly. But it's okay when it's your own house, though. It's not like you're talking wow. about a different group. Wow. <laughs> Are we opening the door for other people to stereotype and generalise us if we no. if we are the no. ones saying that this is what we do? I think we are. So I'm going to take that back, actually. I was just... The weather was fashionably late. The weather like was late. Like a person that's fashionably late. <laughs> so I am Dominican Ems with you each and every Saturday. My co-host today is a lovely skillet Albert. Mm. In the background, you can hear the lovely Nyla Blackman, who is one of our two guests today. Come on. Amazing. So our first guest, who will be here a little bit later, is Nyla Blackman, Trinidadian, like Mr. Ryan over here. Yes. Second guest is Melik. And Melik is the singer behind Take Bamboo Girl. Mm-hmm. Take Bamboo Girl. 
Tank. Mm, 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 mm. It's a tune. Big tune. Big bad. Yeah. They're actually here. So you're actually going to have them in person? They're here. You're not going to do it sh- through stream? No, like I you cannot. Oh, God. No, I'm not able. And it has a 40 second delay <laughs> on each answer. Like the people in the Caribbean don't have internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we're going to do. We're not going to mug off our people. But no, they'll be either side of you. Obviously, both Trinidadian and the Beamer speaking. So you're going to have a Trini house hall? Yes, oh, and the reason oh. that they're here is they're actually performing on Friday the 19th mm-hmm. for a pre-Trinidad and Independence event. You've got a fet. It's not a lime, it's a fet. Right. And um, I'm going to bring up the details a little bit later of where that is. But mm-hmm. yeah, because your, your independence is literally the days after Carnival, isn't oh, it? I know. It's like the 31st Weird, or something. Weird, right? I don't know about weird, but it's probably it just got. Well, it's not our carnival. It's the not in here. It's the English version of carnival. <laughs> I spoke to a guy named Paul the other day at Which? Somerset House. He was a security officer at Somerset okay. House. Big up, Paul. I didn't know what he told me, and I tried to do some research on this on, online. I tried to do my Google's after he told me this. I couldn't find it, and maybe this is common knowledge, and maybe I'm just late to the party. But he says that Paul McCartney has interests and monies behind Notting Hill Carnival like he owns a part of it but Notting Hill is a business it's an entity mm. so you've got Carnival Village you've got the Notting Hill Carnival Trust they're actually operate it's actually operated like a, a business so it's probably Paul McCartney behind that you think I don't think he's behind it but he can be an investor like any he's, other yeah, business yeah, he's probably an investor isn't he I think the only thing Interesting. the only thing that I don't have a problem with it is any any business whether it's black owned or, or otherwise you're going to want to grow and you're going to want people that are going to invest capital mm. and cash in order for you to do if they're not changing the actual ethos of what you're doing I actually don't mind what colour creed or whatever they are if that makes sense it depends if he was doing something that was fundamentally changing it then maybe I'll be like what are you doing yeah no he's, he's just letting the thing go yeah. Isn't it? yeah but I don't so necessarily it's think what you're trying to tell me I should let it be <laughs> I'd love let to be let it be favorite. and yellow oh, is it yellow submarine that's another one of my faves and uh, Eleanor Rigby tune I'm a Beatles fan they got something yeah so am I even though they took it from my culture and I love her I love a big tune from the Beatles Blackbird and I love her I big love tune. her and I love her. Yesterday is another one of my absolute favorites. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. I, I learned how to play that on the keyboard and don't know how I did that or how, whatever, mm-hmm. when I was like a little girl. But anyway. So I just pepper's lonely. But anyway, let's just stop talking about music. We hope, I like your taste in music because I think I've got some with the same taste. I don't know yeah, all yeah, the yeah. stuff you like. The similarities. But we don't listen to all the things that people just think you should listen to. Like, no, nah, because like, oh, that's, that's not actually the definition of liking music, is it? If you're going to follow what people tell you, what you should listen to, I, I don't really see them as music lovers. I think if you're a music lover, you like all kinds of music. I think it's more so... All type of <laughs> But like if we've been good and we've been reason, obviously. Don't, don't listen to like anything. Yeah. There's a lot of trash out there. Anton Deck. No. Yeah? No. Okay. PJ Duncan. Yeah. Housekeeping, you have started a new enterprise. It's called Sovereign Wrestling. Sovereign Pro Wrestling. Sovereign Pro Wrestling. Tell us about We're it, please, Ryan. We're under two I'm months so away. We have uh, the first show on October the 1st at the Trinity Sports Centre in Manchester. Tickets are selling fast. We haven't got a sold out ticket yet, but we've nearly sold out. So, you know, I think there's 100 tickets left to buy. So hopefully at the end of That's this... amazing. Yeah, I know. Hopefully at the end of this month, we'll get a sellout. Right, let me know. And, and you can't underestimate walk-ins. People in walk-in might buy a lot of tickets too. So... Sovereign Pro Wrestling, get your tickets at www.sovereignprowrestling.com. Um, the first show is October the 1st. If you love your British, if you love your wrestling, and if you don't, you still come and watch a great show. It's British okay. wrestling, loads of great, talented British stars. So come down. I'll be there to uh, present the show and also Ooh. introduce everybody. So Manchester. In Manchester. Repeat what day? October 1st. The show is called First Rain. I'm coming. Sovereign Pro I'm Wrestling. Coming. And the I'll show is called, you see what we did there? Sovereign Pro Wrestling. First Rain. Sovereign. 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 Yeah. Anyway. That's clever. Yeah. We're rap- rappers are behind this all. Um, so, you know, we're good with the word what play. What do you mean rappers are behind it? So you're so a co-owner. I'm a rapper. I'm a co-owner. Another, then one of the main co-owners is Shotty Horror, who's a massive rapper in the battle scene, Manchester native. He's not just a pretty face, he's oh, well, also thank a you. business. Go on. Uh, so shout out to my brother Shotty Horror, who's another well-known established rapper who's behind the operation. He's one of the main guys. Uh, uh, Faze Watt from Piff Gang, he's another guy that's behind the operation. He's a rapper. Wow. Uh, uh, and there's some musical producers that's with us, that's rolling with us. And we're just, yeah, we're just trying to ting, man. And it's, it's, it's for a first show, 
it's quite good but that's not the hard job the hard job is sustaining it and keeping it and keeping keep consistent with it and you know growing the audience that's the hard part and hopefully what, we can do that what brought you guys together other than like a love of hip-hop and wrestling um well i think that's what it was <laughs> <laughs> that's what brought us together i think you answered your whole question uh obviously I'm a, I'm a wrestling enthusiast i do a wrestling podcast i've worked closely with the wwe <laughs> in several things in terms of like um journalism and sports journalism and stuff like that and podcasting and stuff like that Amazing. and uh, sh- uh, shot your horror would have heard of me through that way i heard of shot your horror through the battle rap scene really really talented battle rapper and we just connected and we and we and we got a crew behind us and we all formed like voltron and blast you with a solar missile slim shady eminem was the old initials where can people buy tickets right www.sovereignprowrestling.com check it out can you send me the link? I'll send you I the link. always, um, under every episode, so if you're watching this on YouTube... Oh, do you do the hyperlink on the, on the episode? I do every episode. So I add Come your on. hyperlinks, I add your your social media, but if Come you on. give me that one, I'm going to add that one on there too. Let's Come on. Let's Appreciate that. Let's Come on. Thank you. But now I'm really proud of you. This is imminent, right? We'll see how it goes, man. Yeah, nice. We'll see how it goes. So today's show, like we said, our guests are Nyla Blackman and mm. Melik, the singer mm-hmm. behind Tape Bamboo. Both mm-hmm. are amazing, incredible singer-songwriters. We'll get behind who they are, what they've been doing, what they're here to do in London. We touched on it earlier, but we will come back to it. Um, in terms of uh, our sponsors, the Dominican M Show is sponsored by Customers On Demand, who help service-based businesses build their brand online, find their ideal target audience and convert them into customers. And over the past four years, Customers On Demand have helped over 200, 200 companies double their turnover in 30 to 60 days. Come on. And we're going to shout out to Chris, the owner. Shout out to Chris, man. Customers on demand. These Costas, are cost of customers on demand. Bad black, boy. Black owned business. Come on. They're like. Trini as well. Trini. Come on. Marketing done. Sweet, sweet tea and tea and them thing. I think their their primary market is like aesthetics, but I've seen the marketing that he does can apply to so many different marketing, right, right. like different um, business types. So you could, I would just say, get in touch. I might, I might have to holler him. I need to grow my audience. Yeah. How do I do that? Why does that sound like a double entendre? Double, triple entendre, don't <laughs> even ask me how. <laughs> My general housekeeping would have been Bill J. Mars is launching, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, talk about that, man. Carnival weekend. you got something popping happening that weekend. I am so excited. I have been waiting and waiting and working and grinding. We have Notting Hill Carnival, the representation of Caribbean culture in London. So anybody that has been watching the show, that has been following Ryan and I know that we're both Caribbean heritage. I'm born in London. Ryan was born in Trinidad and Tobago. I love how you say that. But essentially, we are West Indians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And carnival is a big part of our culture and the representation and the pride that we've got. So cut a long story short, we're going to be in Notting Hill Carnival. If you, It's too late to join this year, but if you would love to join next year, then just follow us on the socials and you'll find the way. Are you doing both days? Yeah, I'm shaking my bum So you're making that pee? No, I'm not. One day I'm, I'm spending money, the other day I'm making money. So you make the money back, basically? Yeah, this year I have. Then you like... You, know, you want financial, a Any financial gain? What do you mean? Like, so you've made the money back that you spent, but yeah. anything above and, and more? Yeah. Let's not talk about it. You don't have to talk about it. But. Well, so basically, my sister made bank. That's what I'm going to know. <laughs> not like some people, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, was... but this is your first time, so you got to keep going. And that's but how it builds also, up. So I've been, I've been on both sides of this. So I've been a masquerader. I've been mm-hmm. the person buying the T-shirt or buying a costume. Mm-hmm. And... Hence the reason why you bought, you wanted to buy, your, you, you wanted to learn how to design yeah. your own because they're so expensive. And I have that pricey. creative side in me. Mm-hmm. It wasn't necessarily the priciness, if I'm honest, mm-hmm. but I just was like, I really want to do this. I feel like this is what I should be doing, and I should be expressing myself. And not many people know, but when I was a little girl, I was always designing and drawing. Amazing. I was always doing that. My mum really nurtured that. I and love she that. is a typical Caribbean mum who just cuss and shout and everything. With the ruler, with the ruler. Yeah, yeah. but no, she really nurtured that in me. But then I went into like the um, accounting kind of space. So it's like, I address one side of my character, but not the other. And I've been doing this for like 20 years or whatever. So it's the rebalance and just being yourself. And I really, really love what I'm doing. I'm really learning. I had to learn all of like how you make the costume from scratch, like and everything. I love it. It's a lot of hard work, 
But because I've been the masquerader, I've seen when people get mugged off in terms of prices as well. Yeah, so you're kind of like a... You're somebody that's Try and be fair. You're fair. You're be fair with the price. Yeah. I think you should pay me for my time, and you should pay me if you pay X amount for materials. You should pay me for my labour. I mean, you shouldn't just get that for free. But at the same time, I shouldn't mug you off, and you can't eat for seven days because <laughs> you bought like a costume. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm looking forward to. It. I'm going to be there on the Monday. I can't wait. I'm going to be celebrating with you in in your mass, and I can't. I'm looking forward to it. No. Um. Yeah, I'll ask you other questions about it off air. But yeah yeah no i'm excited i'm excited so in the background you're hearing the sounds of nyla blackman i'm actually going to change up the sounds we're going to go to grenada and this is canoe she wants to rap like a free side i cannot wait to get she she cannot wait to get i then i'm winding up with seat so loosely what kind of ways i got you juicy juice like a giant waist
up in your front door like a Jehovah witness. I like everything y'all, especially the tightness. Yeah. Just know I don't play it when I enter in me. Just know I don't play in gal. Just come and ride the Jackie gal. Ride it, ride it. 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 Sick job, as a kind of 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 sick job, as a kind of
Figures in one year bus, right in front of me. Walking up them ways, that is we got for days. Walking out on a dreamy girl. You know I am for that. Jamming out on a two bay jam. You know what they in that. Walking up on a solution. You will catch me doing that. Jamaican and a two vince. All the girls in four seven track. Best part of the road. Best part of the street. When the map and them make us stop, she whine and give me a love it. Best part of the road. Best part of the street. When the map and them make us stop, we jam in a stationary. Walking away, walking away. Guys, we took it back to Grenada. Let me just turn off. So, guys, we took it back to Grenada. This is Dominique and Ems with you each and every Saturday. I'm joined by my co host Skillet. Yes. Niceness in the building. So, our guests today are. Nyla Blackman and Malik, who will be joining us later. You can join me each and every Saturday for the Dominican M show. The live show is on Twitch, the reloads on YouTube, all our socials are underneath. And Ryan, you've got Skillets World, which you do each and every week. Each each, each Saturday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., tune into Skillets World with loads of crazy guests, crazy interviews. And I'm holding in my hand right now Cocktail Lolita. What is it? It's a kind of a special cup. You know those kind of drinks that you get at carnival and stuff like that? Ooh, oh, cocktail drink. I put some on the desk. A bit premature there, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Reminds me of my 20s. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, let's oh, chat. we don't know. <laughs> mm. Okay, out of 10. She's not here, so you can say what you think. You know what? It would actually be really, really banging if it's cold. If it's really cold. It's nice. It's nice. But yeah. like, if it was cold, it'd be like, yeah. Do you know what? But I like my drinks icy cold anyway. Yeah, so same. it is what it is. You need to get a tissue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you know that Scotland's going to be the first country to produce uh, period products for free? Yeah, I thought it was amazing. Great, when you say, it? But when you say produce, like they like, can buy them for free. That's amazing. Yeah. Because you don't choose to, to have to a distribute, period. To distribute, to distribute them. It's amazing. Free. Yeah. It's so progressive. You probably, um, one of the wipes in the back there. Sorry, this is great content, isn't it? <laughs> but I feel like they're like, you know, the actual cleaner wipes. That's all right. You know. When you get, you only live once, Sam's. You're going to get monkeypox. Nah. So let me mention our sponsors again. Our sponsors are Customers On Demand. Customers On Demand help service-based businesses build their brand online, find their ideal target audience and convert them into customers. And over the past four years, Customers On Demand have helped over 200 companies double their turnover in 30 to 60 days. That's right. Which is niceness. So whilst we just wait for our guest, what's in the news, right? Well, yeah, um, I saw something about this woman paying 50k to look like Kim Kardashian. I mean, I don't know how oh, you... Oh, I saw that. Can, Sad, I, can, can I be a bellend? It didn't look good, did it? She looked like Sonia from EastEnders. Mm. <laughs> She's from South Korea, wasn't she? I was really confused by all of this because she looks... She was from South Korea, apparently. Yeah, no, but I saw the pictures and you shouldn't generalise, but I'm going to fully do that just now. With all the work that she's got done, I would never have guessed that as her race or ethnicity. Mm-hmm. But I don't like that. Like, I Sad, love my it? black features. Like, if you're South Korean, which is where she's from, right? Mm-hmm. Your features of your race, you should think they're proud, that you should be proud and beautiful. You think they're beautiful. Mm. Not looking like a woman who wants to look like a black lady. It is what it is. What was your thoughts? It just goes back on the whole mental health thing. People are not yeah. happy with what they see in the mirror every yeah. day. And 
we just don't do anything to stop these. I know people have freedom of choice and people want to look how they want to look and these companies are there to, to, to aid that kind of thing. But I think there's, there needs to be some sort of thing where you just say to somebody, no, no I, I'm not going to do that. Because A, I'm not going to make you look like Kim Kardashian. It, 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 even if, like, at least be good at your job, isn't it? If you're going to take 50K of somebody, make it look like Kim Kardashian. Because you didn't do that. So you basically just robbed the woman. Yeah. It's so controversial because there's like, there's choice, isn't there? And you don't want to be dismissive of somebody's thoughts, feelings, and then people have different reasons why they do things. But then I'm just like, I just want people to love themselves. Like when I look at some like, okay, racial stereotype, and this is a generalization of my generation, I wouldn't necessarily have thought of black women getting plastic surgery in the volumes that they are now mm -hmm. so when i think of like 10 15 years ago that um, i really don't mean to offend but like a, a, a generalization a sweeping statement that many people used to make was oh that's what caucasian people would do maybe because they had the money that's why i don't know i think, think i think even though they're still very expensive i do feel like it's more accessible it's probably more accessible now yeah and obviously you can go to different countries to get it done you can go to turkey and you spend less money yeah because so different avenues and people's worked out different ways to to figure it out how they can get the surgery now and that's what it is i think it's not even just the money i think people have figured out different ways they can get the surgery now we're back in the day it was strictly if you had the finances you, yeah. you get it this is true can't disagree and unfortunately the way society has deemed black people especially black women and have not made them appreciate how beautiful they are and make them feel like every day they're not good looking i'm not surprised a lot of them are going for surgery which they shouldn't because i think black women are just naturally stunning and they don't need any work i don't think anyone needs any work but especially not black women and we're so like diverse in our looks as like as a, as a black Absolutely. woman and like to be a black woman you could be like you know from any complexion to this to that Absolutely. different hair types different and you're all black women and mm -hmm. i just see the most beautiful women getting things done i'm just like why that just mm -hmm. i think the most common one that i look at and just think when is this going to end is the bbl because that's mm. so common. I'm seeing people that are on the periphery of my social circle yeah. getting that and it's not it's not um it's not taboo. It's yeah, I not, know. Uh, it's not frowned upon. I know. It's it's not uncommon. People are just like, oh, I don't really like I, what I'm, I've got. I'm just like, but you you were lovely. I know women. But that's yeah. my, I yeah. know women. I know women that's gone and done that. Yeah. And then when they get the square one, I'm like, could you not get the round one? It's sad, man. What else did we see in the news? So you talked about Scotland being really progressive. That that's amazing. This I mean, is twenty twenty two. People need to follow suit, man. I mean, the fact that that's that's even a thing where people could sell is it's, it's wild, isn't it? It's more than wild. You know, there's such a thing as period poverty. So I've worked in organisations where, um, and shout out to Angel. There's a lady called Angel that I met drew, through the soccer scene, a mutual friend who actually set up a business, mm -hmm. and they were actually like putting together care packages for people that were less. I don't know how to put the word, but like maybe they didn't have the financial means to just buy something that you would think is a basic. Mm -hmm. So if it's like things to just make keep yourself clean or like tampon or um, pads, she was putting together care packages because some people actually can't afford to look after themselves in that way during their monthly cycle. Sad, isn't it? Yeah, and you take it for granted that that's just you something do. that you do. You do take it for granted. Yeah, and that um, you don't necessarily associate or that with some people, this country. Yeah, so people will just choose the other, okay, I'll rather eat and get that, or, or, or I need to pay for the light bill and, and sacrifice paying for things, other ne uh, you know, necessities, that they, necess <laughs> necessities that they need. You know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely, that's what it is. It's, everything's going sky high with the with the, with the, with the, with the prices I, and everything. I won't harbour on too long, but maybe because you're like a, I was going to say an older gentleman, you're just like a grown man, right? Mm. You've had partners, you've either lived with them or they've mm -hmm. come to stay with you. Like a period is a normal part of a woman's life. You should be panicking when she don't have a period more like, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But it's like, you're, you when you hear the word, I don't see you wincing or like, you know, no. grimacing. But we're still in that kind of culture where if you speak about something which every woman generally has, especially if you've, you've been born, like mm -hmm. your mum had one, people are so uncomfortable to talk about it. Much less I know, talk because about, they made all that stuff uncomfortable for women to talk about. And men are just... They just don't understand the stuff women go through. It's and mad. they don't want to understand what women go through. It's horrendous. Yeah. 
Sad. Okay. okay. So I saw a thing on The Breakfast Club. Mm. Oh my God, The Breakfast Club. Do you watch it? I used to watch it. I don't watch it as much as I used to. It had its great moments though. It's classic interviews throughout the the years. So yeah, big up, big, big up everyone man, on Breakfast Club. Man. Great show. They'll never see this, but I'm going to big up The Breakfast Club because you have Anjali Yee. Yeah. Half Monster Russian, so mm-hmm. West Indian. You have DJ Envy, whose partner's Jamaican, so he reps Jamaica, but he's actually Dominican like me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dom- Dominic- Dominican men don't cheat. All the women. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but basically, Angela Yee. And Charlemagne, the guy, you didn't mention him. Oh, I love Charlemagne. Yeah. He, the, main, he, the main glue of the whole three. They all play their parts, but he's the one that just gets you. He either really riles you up. Or mm-hmm. you just like I really get his viewpoint, but I actually like him. Mm-hmm. But they've been really like influential because let's be real. As much as we're doing like a radio show, radio is in decline. Let's be real. Yeah, I mean, Podcast. why are we doing this? Keep <laughs> <laughs> going, as you were saying. So radio may or may not be it is in the decline, but podcast is like, on the up. They're on the up. People love a podcast. Yeah, do a podcast. But, this um, is basically a podcast, really. Let's be real. You play a little bit of music on there, but it's basically a podcast. It's basically a podcast. Um, it's a it's a podcast. <laughs> it's a radio and a podcast. It's a podcast. So we are do, we've been doing this podcast me too since December you for like three months right? But I've been doing podcasts and like podcasts this, for for years. But more yeah, than inter- years, yeah. you're the connoisseur. But the radio stuff, yes, is very new. Yes, thanks to you. Now you're done. Don't don't let me even say it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I know. But they basically been. I just wanted to say it anyway. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> They've been doing their thing for 30 years and then I think this week Angela Yee announced that she's going to... She's going to leave. She's going to... Yeah, she's going to leave, yeah. But she's not leaving iHeartRadio, which is still the organisation. Oh, okay. She's still within there, but she's going to do Angela Yee's lip service, which is doing really, really well. Uh, that podcast does amazing and she's got the Angela Yee show as well. So she's actually got two platforms. Nice. And for a female, a black female to be doing that, that's actually quite monumental. So yeah. that's quite great. But they had Tank on the, um, on the show this week. So I saw that um, they were asking, if somebody buys you a drink, do you have to start a conversation? Do you know what I thought of when uh, when I heard this? It's just like, I think we were out and somebody bought me a drink and then when he gave me the drink, then I just walked off and you just looked at me like, what are you doing? Yeah, I feel like if you're going to take a drink <laughs> from somebody, it's 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 nice, it's, 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 it's good manners to talk to them. You don't have to have a long conversation with them. You don't have to talk to them for the majority of the night. But you can just say, hey, how are you? Thank you for that. I really appreciate the drink. Okay, thanks for that. Like, you know, just be nice and then say, well, I'm going to go join my friends now if you don't want to have a long conversation with this person. You were cracking up because I think I did talk to him. I said, can I have Bacardi? That's what I said. I mean, you know, I love you. You're my sister. But there is there is moments where you just you choose to be rude and you just don't need to be. And I'm just not going to... I'm just not going to... I'm never going to condone that or back that because that's not my morals. <laughs> and if I ever see my daughter or my son doing that, I will give them a swift backhand. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just being real. Just going to keep it real. I do love you though. Um, that wasn't that bad. It wasn't the worst, no. no. But I'm just saying you could have just, yeah. But I'm, Thank you for that. But I'm What's not your in, name? I'm not What's in, your name? Thank you for but that. I'm not obligated or I, entitled. If he chose to do that, that's his choice. I don't. Well, he asked you if you wanted a drink and you said yes. Yeah. Right. But what you can do, this is not about obligation, it's about what's right. What you can just do is say, what's your name? Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. If he's cute. I'm going to. No, it's not about looks. It's not, it's not even about that. It's not even about even being attracted to the person. If somebody wants to buy you a drink, they want to buy you a drink. But you can just be like, listen, if you don't want to talk to that person, just. I, but I don't have to. I wasn't. Really I agree. Rude. I didn't I say you didn't have like, to. I just like, can I have a and I walked off? You could have just been a bit nicer about it. <laughs> um, he says all this now, but he actually laughed, so he didn't... It was hilarious. Um, <laughs> you want to hear um, an interesting fact about Angela Yee? Yeah, go on, I love her. I actually really do like her. You know, in the Wu-Tang album, Wu-Tang Forever. But she was around him at the it's time. It's Wu, mother... Uh, yeah. Wu-Tang, that, mother, her? that was her. Mm-hmm. What was she doing? Was she the A&R? On the song Reunited. I'm not sure. I think she probably wasn't A&R at the time. I'm not sure. But yeah. she she always mentions Wu Tang and she mm. always wears this stuff. So I know that she I saw that. Yeah. Um. She's always like really um being a part of that scene. So she's got her credentials. So yeah, amazing. Yeah. So basically, Ryan said that I should be a bit nicer if people offer me. But I can get my own drink. You don't have to get me. A That's drink. right. So you don't have to accept his drink either. No, I don't. But no. I'm also craving. 
I'm just saying. I'm not saying I'm after a long conversation. I'm just saying you can just have a little little brief conversation and then and then be nice. But thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I'm going to oh, go join my friends. Can I have ice with it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else is in the news, Ryan? Ryan? What else did we see this week? Um, what else has been going on? I don't even know. I know there's been Alison there's always a lot of craziness around the streets of London, isn't there? Yeah. People um, just moving mad. There's always something. Shooting, stabbings, all kind of nonsense. Oh God. I mean, that actually I've been, makes me. So I've been going down a rabbit hole on YouTube about all these like. London crime and you know how you got these YouTube channels that talk about all these right, these gangs I'm not going to mention any of the gang's but names but what kind of gangs though? are you talking about I ain't going to mention any gang's names but, but you just, don't have to but is it more like the craze or is it more no, like no like, like drill rappers and stuff like oh, that yeah, yeah yeah that kind of stuff because it's a real thing isn't it I'm so unknowledgeable about it uh, it's, it's this a, postcode it's, thing is ridiculous I don't, that, I don't even understand it's all sad it's just like rivalry from gangs that were gang affiliated with each other before they broke off and started their own gangs and yeah, it's sad. A lot of young, a lot of young me. lives lost for no reason. I f- and that's why I see it. We should get somebody on the show to just speak a bit about it from a different mm-hmm. perspective. But mm-hmm. it's really sad. What gets me? This didn't start from the generation. Now this is like our generation and generation before. Of course, the season. And some of these people are those those generations kids yeah it's mad so they've, they've, they've it. grown up in the violence so that's all they know yeah it's really really sad it's very sad um and we grew up in wolfham so and we've yep. seen the um i don't know how you describe it not the cosmetics like how wolfham so is we've seen that change over the years over the decades like mm-hmm. wolfham so 20 30 years ago is not the wolfham so that it is now is mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. it can be quite difficult if mm-hmm. you're like of certain age and demographic mm-hmm like challenging yeah for sure that's really sad especially with gentrification coming in it's harder for some people as well and, it, and it's easier for people to make money because of gentrification at the same time because especially criminal money because some of the people coming from these all around england southampton or whatever where they're coming from half the money will probably want to indulge in some class a drugs and unfortunately those youngers are the ones that are selling it yeah but i hate that of course I hate that absolutely. Where was I? I think I was in Brixton. I'm sorry to say that I love Brixton. I'm old enough to remember like what Brixton was like before. And it was like a Caribbean hub in a sense. Mm-hmm. I remember that, and it was such a beautiful. I'm going to use one of those cheesy words like organic. It was real. Like that was just. It used to have like a reputation, but I never saw any trouble, violence. But mm-hmm. what it did have was a high demographic of black people. Mm-hmm. Now I see the gentrification lot just like take over, mm-hmm. walking up to black people asking them for weed and stuff mm-hmm. and drugs. And even you're just the ones like, that don't even sell it. I mean, times in my life, especially when I was a full time rapper, the amount of times so people come up to cringe. me thinking I would sell drugs after my gigs. I'm like, are you crazy? I hate that so much, Ryan. Yeah. Well. Racism, <laughs> racism is everywhere. We love a bit of racism here, don't mm. we, Ryan? Wow. Well, Not really. No. So let's go to Dominica and you've got Ben for the Car Key by Asa Banton.
you with yourself? You laughing, who sleepers have nailed? Okay. Who that passing down well still? Who get that cuss on Christmas sale? Put your belly out on bill. You laughing, who sleepers have nailed? Who that passing down well still? Who get that cuss on Christmas sale? Put your belly out on bill. You don't make fellas see your sin. I walk us down and feel like a king. Fresh like us and ting. Check that, check that. Your belly make it chill. What's your luck on? What? What? Your belly make it chill. Your last on the lack Your last on the lack of You spent your last on the lack of This is Dominique and M show with me, your host, Dominique and M. It's a very um, sensual voice. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's my radio voice. You say what I sound like at home. You know that Spike Lee film, Girl 6? What's it called? Girl 6. No, but I might have seen it. Who's in it? I can't remember now. It's I love video, Spike video Lee, film. you know? Oh, he's, yeah, he's Spike Lee's late 80s to mid 2000s. Great stuff. I, I don't think I've really watched a Spike Lee film in recent times. I really enjoyed. Like, I know, like well, the Black you, the Black Klansman was okay, but it wasn't classic. That's a true Spike. story, though, wasn't it? it well, was it, like, it was loosely based off a true story. Yeah, like it was a different st- story from what really happened. But but there was they took they took the elements of what happened. Yeah, they took elements of what happened. And then I I saw it on Netflix. So I don't know if it went to the cinema, but they did a remake of. Um, What's the one where it's the girl and then she's got the three love interests and they're all really different. And one's like the Puerto Rican, Michael Jordan. Oh, they did, a, they did a series of it, innit? I um, loved it. I absolutely loved it. Oh my God. It's in the top of my head. Um, <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Why am I forgetting the name of that? People are probably she's scream, a, screaming she's at us right have now. It. She's, she's got to have she's it. She's got to have it. That's it, yeah. It was amazing. What is your favourite Spike Lee film? There's Devil in a Blue Dress, Malcolm mm. X. Oh, I think Malcolm X is probably the best. Can I be really I do love. I do love um, Do the Right Thing. Oh, jo- yeah, Radio Rahim. I don't think I can pick one. This Jungle Fever was good. Amazing. It's so Bamboozled. Cool. I love Bamboozled. Classic. And when they do like the jazz steps at the end, and all that, it was so interesting. People didn't really resonate with that one. Clockers. Though. 
Have I seen Clockers? Let me Clockers not lie. is classic. Which one's Clockers? Remind me of the premise. Um, it's the one. What well, is? <laughs> gangs in the streets, police. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what's the Denzel one? Um, he's got game. There's so many. There's so many Spidey classics. But uh, Denzel is like famous for being like a mainstay in yeah, in yeah, that in Spidey films. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And where's he snatched was a few. Was in a few. Who did Training Day? That wasn't Spidey. No, who no, did no, that no. one? I can't remember the name of the director, but uh. but there was a controversy because that's the one where he's like doing a character that's more kind of like aggressive. Like, what, like a corrupt police officer? Correct. Was he kind of did like nice guys, political figures, people? No, but you chose. can't you can't deny how great he was in that role. I think he was amazing. The only I thing I was the only thing I would say but it was the criticism he got outside of myself. The only thing I would say was before he won the Oscar for Training Day, there was a role where he played Hurricane Carter, the boxer, and the film was called The Hurricane. And for me, I don't remember that one. It's a it's a brilliant movie. Watch that film. True story. I love I love every vehicle that and, he does though. And for me, even that weird one where he was on the plane, flight. Mm. And and for me, that's Denzel's best performance. And I think he should have won an Oscar for that. And which one was that one? Hurricane. And it was incredible. Basically, yeah. And that obviously he was a great in Malcolm X as well. He should have won an Oscar about Malcolm X as well. It's epic. Yeah. But, but he was great in Training Day. I have no qualms in winning an Oscar in Training Day. No qualms. He was great. I can understand. But the only problem is he became that character for every other film now. After since Training Day, he became, you know, <laughs> the whole thing, everything became that character. What is that? Because I can't think. What is that Denzel Washington film where he's in the hospital and then his son needs some kind of like life saving thing, so he has to go and do. He's like running well, around. Philadelphia. No, isn't that where like Tom That's, Hanks? Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not that. It's like his son is sick. John Q. Yes. Yeah. I thought he more so did those kind of movies, like The Hero, and you're unnecessarily running through the subway mm, in New York. Mm, 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 like, I don't know how that helps your son. Like, Yeah, that was a true story as well, wasn't it, Junkie? Was it? I think it was, yeah. God. Okay, who's your favourite Hollywood actor? Pacino. I think it's Pacino, my friend. I do love De Niro, though. Actress? Uh, Viola Davis. She's amazing. But there's a lot. There's a lot that I'm underrating, you know, when it comes to women actors. There's a lot that, that I love that I'm not thinking of. Does that make sense? Like, it's like there's so many great female actors. But yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I think, yeah. she's, I think she blows me out. She blows me away, man. She's so powerful. What about the Meryl Streeps as well? I love Meryl. Meryl Streep's a great actor. Brilliant actor. Because she like evokes, I love Viola, don't get me wrong. I think mm-hmm. Viola is one of my absolute faves. Because she's got this kind of like, um, beautiful powerhouse thing where she's just like i'm gonna Mm -hmm. do what i need to do without being anyone's cliche she's just her but it's Mm -hmm. so beautiful to watch like any character she does it resonates with me watch a film called doubt Uh, watch a film called doubt stars meryl streep philip seymour hoffman and viola davis and viola davis just steals the show man she kills it she's a beautiful absolutely kills it how did you feel about all that um even i was guilty of sharing the memes you know where you had I think there was like Michelle Pfeiffer, another mm. actress, and Viola Davis, and they were all playing like females of like the American um, like presidency world. And so Viola Davis was playing a version of Michelle Obama. Yeah, she yeah. done that thing with her lips. What was your? What did you? Was think? it that a series? I think that was yeah. a series. Yeah, I haven't like it didn't look good from what I saw on the social media. <laughs> it looked like it cost ten pound fifty in production. Yeah, yeah, it did. It looked really bad. It looked like a really low budget nineties made for TV film. Uh, but I haven't watched it, so I don't want to really judge. But from what I saw on social media, it didn't look good. Can I be honest? The visuals alone just made me not want to watch that. That's really, really, really bad. Yeah. It's really, really, really bad. Jack Claude Yeah, Michael's let's Zill. do that. Close this door. Let's do that, let's do that. Where should we go to next for some music? Should we go to... Let's go to St. Lucia. Because they also had their carnival recently. Have you ever been to St. Lucia? Yeah, and I did their carnival too. Is it good? It was amazing because St. Lucia, obviously they speak Creole like Dominica, but they're a bigger island. Yeah. So they're bigger in population. Yeah. Slightly more industrial... Not slightly, they're more industrialised, so... They also remind you of Trinidad and um, Dominican people will cuss me, but it just the way their infrastructure is, mm-hmm. is more established than Dominica is at the moment. So, right, 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 right. But the way they did the carnival, I loved it. Like it was truly authentic, like a St. Lucian carnival. I heard the sounds of Trinidad and Barbados and whatever, but I heard so much 
St. Lucian artists and denary and this and that. I just thought it was beautiful because St. Lucia feels like a sister brother to Dominica. Yes. And they're very similar in their, um, what do you call it, in their, in their culture. Sure. But at the same time, they're very proud in themselves. And I love that. I absolutely loved it. Okay. So nice, honestly. Interesting. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Usa sambale baka yadla. Ladies. Ah, je vois ding, nous vois ding now. Du bout là. Left side là. Right side là. Kak up ça. Tic tac ça. Nemo asu junu. Left side. Right side. Anale. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Plat, 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 tête vie et moute clap, 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 now this hand la plat, 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 vie et moute clap, 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 now do boot la, hm, left side la, hm, right side la, hm, cac up sa, hm, tic tac sa, hm, nemo asu junu, left side, hm, Right side, hmm. Anale. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Head via mute clap, 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 clap. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Via mute clap, clap, clap. Do boot la, hmm. Left side la, hmm. Right side la, hmm. Cock up sa, hmm. Tic tac sa, hmm. Nemo asu junu. Left side, hmm. Right side, hmm. Anale. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Head via mute clap, 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 clap. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Now via mute clap, 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 clap. Now do boot la, hmm. Left side la, hmm. Right side la, hmm. Cock up sa, hmm. Tic tac sa, hmm. Nemo asu junu. Left side, hmm. Right side, hmm. Anale. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Now via mute clap, 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 clap. Now this hand la plat, 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 plat. Now via mute clap, 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 clap. Now do boot la, hmm. So guys, we are taking it back to St. Lucia. Is that Barbados? I think that's Barbados. Just some monkey rough from say sorry, guys. It sounds good. Go watch that. Go down low, your bumper, cabango, bend your back, do the tango. 
A tanga la tanga la tango She watch how me do the go dongo Bend your back and come up She feel like yes my girl you doing the go dongo Watch me do the go dongo 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 We slide them a move like a wambo. She feel elbow, it's a combo. Go down, let me see what you can do. No matter what you eat, or you can do. We slide them sweet like a mango. Flow like the congo, do the go down go. Chukele, and a wine and a chukala. And a girl say you good baby. Girl wine like Rihanna. So a wine and a chukele. She a wine and a chukala. Girl wine and a chukele. Waba waba wakala. What we do the go down go. Representing from Dominica 767. And I'm here with Dominican M's and we're gonna shake up boom boom. It's the Booyah Queen Carlin XP. Representing from Dominica 767. And I'm here with Dominican M's and we're gonna shake up boom boom. Ladies and gentlemen, right now you're in tune to one of the wickedest shows in the UK. The Dominican M's Show. Certified Mud! on iLiveUK.com. Yo, what's going on? It's KNight13 and you're locked into Dominique and M Show. Uh, I don't really know who she is. She left makeup on my hoodie. Catch you guys later.
Welcome, this is the Dominican M Show, me your host, each and every Saturday. I'm joined by my co-host Skilly. What happening, what happening, what happening? Lovely, mm-hmm. my fellow Trinidad. Well, yes. I'm not Trinidad, I'm Dominique. You're Dominique, but you want to be Trinidad, it's fine. Everybody no, wants to be Trinidad. I, I actually it's fine. don't. I understand I'm it. We, we very understand it. Comfortable. We're very we understand it. No. It's a, it's a no. thing people do. No. Nyla, we have you've just joined us. Hi. Lovely to see you, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> You always get introduced as Soko Roti because you are Soko Roti. Mm-hmm. You come from a long lineage. I don't know what they might it were. A long lineage of Soka influences from your mother uh-huh. to your grandfather yeah. to the people in your family. Yeah. There's like 900 people in your family. Everybody's a singer, <laughs> songwriter. <laughs> Legend. Yeah. Yeah. And Dominique can I exaggerate just a touch. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a touch. Uh, yeah, so always. Because they're copying us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll let it slide. <laughs> 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 and Sarah, if you bring the microphone closer to your mouth, pretend it's a beautiful young lady, and what would you say? <laughs> How would you introduce yourself? 
Well, my name is Asha. Asha, nice big to up meet Asha, you. Big up yeah. Asha. Big up Asha. Each and Asha. every time, Asha. Yeah, me and uh, Cheddar mm-hmm. co-produce the show, you know, produce the show. Asha. Yeah. So just so everybody knows, you've got a number of stars and artists in the... So Cheddar, if you come this way, just so you'll be on Asha, the camera. Yeah, Asha, come a bit closer, yeah. 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 So I think if you move this way a bit more. They want to catch you in the camera, that's why they want yeah. to catch you. And I smile. Nice, I want to see the red, gold and green. Touch more. <laughs> Touch more. And then bring the mic closer and then we're good to go. Yeah. Thank you. So like you were saying, yeah. if I just interject, you've got a show in honour of Trini Independence. Yeah. And it's this Friday, the 19th. Yes, it is. Tell us a little bit about it. Who have you got? You might well, have the one and only Nyla Blackman. Well, we got Nyla Blackman. <laughs> we got a guy called um, Malik. the Bamboo Man, Malik. <laughs> yeah, we got Redman UK. We got Cyber, Young Cyber. Mm. And um, we got um, Survival, you know. The, but this get, is amazing. Um, what I liked about your show, yeah. not only is it in honour of Trinidad and Independence, mm-hmm. it's not Dominican Independence, but all you can have your time, so it's cool. So, <laughs> you you kind of have like different elements of like yes. our culture. So whether yes. it's pan, pan, yes. I said pan, like I'm saying mask, yes. pan or soca. Yes. There's different elements that you brought together yes. to represent the culture. Was that something that you were trying to do? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And we want to make it an ongoing yearly event. Okay. So you're doing this with Smokey Joe, who a lot of people in the UK know. He's been around for... Yeah. A few years. Let's not. I'm not gonna give away his age, but he's yeah. he's been away for a hot minute yeah, and really yeah. pushed the culture. Because yes. I know Smokey and his family, and they've really pushed like Caribbean culture to the forefront. Whether yeah. it be like DJing, whether it be like um, you know supplying the music in record shops, etc. Like he's really been at the forefront, and he's continued to be. So it's really nice to see that you guys are doing your thing. Okay. So I know there's people there. <laughs> I'm Dominican Ems. So Dominican Ems with you each and every Saturday. We're live in London. We have in the studio Asha. We have in the studio Nyla Blackman looking all cute up. And I just, I just found out our Wi-Fi is not working. What's going on? They didn't pay the bill. Oh, man. Anyway. Yes. Like, not the one. So. <laughs> Nyla Blackman's looking at us. Are you, are you serious? It's not, I don't live here. I pay my bill. I pay my bill. <laughs> So Nyla, <laughs> how you've been here so many times because you you your career kicked off how many years ago? I want to say twenty. Go ahead. I want to hear what you have to say. No, but you come <laughs> from Soca royalty, so I know that your grandfather is like heralded as like starting Soca. Yeah. Your mummy is also an artist, so I know that you're going to be performing and singing from a little like oh, young yeah, age. As exactly. soon as you could speak, you're going to have been like performing. Yeah, I, I was. But, international recognition and so on i know you from like a kez workout and so on but you would have you didn't come on the scene like a novice you didn't come on the scene like somebody who just started yesterday you knew your stuff girl yeah so don't try and don't try and like trick me (laughs) i saw what you tried to do there no i just um you know i love my circuit you know (laughs) this song with kez is actually my first song Um, really yes well i did many songs but i never actually released them I actually worked on a whole album before releasing that. Um, and yeah, I that song, when I did it in a studio, it wasn't supposed to be a collab off the bat. Um, but then somehow it kind of felt like if it needed a male presence. And I was okay. like, you know what? Like, you know what would be really dope on this? Kes. Like Aww. some of the people were saying like other artists. And I was like, no, I like Kes. Was it because he's <laughs> very cute? Um, yes, it's because he's very cute and also because he <laughs> has a really, yeah, I'm, I'm de- <laughs> it is because, and then because he, he has a really nice voice and I he like does. the way he sings, you know, like not a lot of people in Soko just like sings very melodic, like my style, like, so he was one that sang very melodic mm. and sweet and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I want a vibe like that, you know, even though it wasn't a song like that, yeah. um, I still wanted that kind of vibe. I was always a fan of him. So I'm eating even know me i actually just happened to see him no he knew you he knew you you're cute so he knew who you were even if he didn't say nothing no he did not know me i don't believe that that's what i swear to you he he never he never saw me before he never met me before and then um like i just met him in a studio and i was like yo like i have a song like you want to hear it and he was like okay like i really actually like i kind of 
bamboozled him just a little bit. So did you write this song as well? Um, yeah, so I wrote the female part of the song, yeah. um, my part. And yeah. then the male part was very different before he agreed to do the song. So he was like, he liked it, but he felt like the male part needed some work. So that was when the male part changed. And we actually got on board um, Mikhail Teja, Pretty. Another amazing artist there. Pretty and um, the producer of the song, Anson Pro. Um, that's my manager as well. So they, three of them came together and they rewrote the male part of the song. Amazing. So, yeah, and that's I how love. it happened. I'm going to play a quick burst of the song. Okay. Because we're short of time and I want to make sure that we get to speak to you today. But look, this is a quick burst of Workout with Kez and our beautiful Nyla. <laughs> Looking at you is amazing. Put your gym body, gym body. Now give it to nobody. Oh, gym body, gym body. Original them can photocopy you. Oh. Classic, I know. didn't warm up. <laughs> that's, that's a classic tune, man. More yeah. than a classic. And I love the fact that you knew he'll be the missing puzzle of that song because that's that's not a, that's not an easy thing to do to navigate who's going to be the right person to. Yeah, match no. That Anson, Anson was the first one. Was like maybe we should get a collab on it because he knows like how hard it was like in Trinidad just for like new artists to be no like noticed. Mm. But then like we had so many different people that like we knew that we could get contact with mm. Kes wasn't one of them yeah. he was like oh let's go for this one and that one like who we actually knew I wouldn't call names <laughs> but like other big artists oh, cool you names, know okay. you can say names you just no, say no, no, no. Collins. <laughs> Bungie Collins no, no. Bungie Bungie Collins no <laughs> Bungie Collins <laughs> and, and I was like no I want Kes we didn't know we didn't know Kes like that he okay. didn't as I said he didn't know me but I was like, no, Cass is the one for this. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah so definitely. Cute. You're right. Yeah. Absolutely right. So. That was my input. He's very cute. Yeah, and then <laughs> after that, I was just like, let's 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 do more. Let's, because I was in a whole different vein before doing this song. You know, I, I did all different kinds of music. Yeah. Like, and because this was like my first like release song, because everything else was like on my laptop or like private. It was kind of like, okay, now we have to follow up on this vibe, the, this new vibe you created, you know? And that's Amazing point. Did you feel a pressure with your family's history to go down the Soka Calypso road? Did you feel like that pressure? Or um, no, I didn't feel a pressure, but I did get into it because I felt like if I was always a musician that did everything, and because like people like I would get in arguments with people about like what soca really is, but mm. I wasn't actually mm. doing soca. Mm. So I was like, you know, I'm a kind of hypocrite. <coughs> like, mm, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what is soca? What, what is soca? You said soca really is gone. Okay. I want to hear this. So soca is a rhythmic structure. Yeah. It's a music that signifies unity. Mm -hmm. um, it's a music that was meant to bring people together. Absolutely. Um, but the foundation of a soca to say like what is a soca i would say it stems from the rhythmic structure and then it's the soul of calypso then we have to go back to what is calypso go on, calypso mother. is freedom of, freedom of expression in terms of what you say i think for mm -hmm. a while like in trinidad how calypso was birthed was because um africans were silenced you know they couldn't say their truth so Facts. it was about speaking your truth come talking, on talking the come talking on ish, you know what i'm saying real um it's the truth no it's no, it's just absolutely that's the yeah, definition and that's this is why i love on. this music Spot on. yeah and i think that that's where like the soul of calypso is the meaning of soca but then i feel like if soca got a little bit lost in the festivities yeah you know? ryan's daddy who i'm gonna shout out is okay. called dio alberto he is a calypsonian of from yeah. trinidad and he also performs here up, he, he, up, he would up. know he would know of, he would um he was in the same circles of your granddad, so nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He, was the, he was the ultimate legend. So yeah. yeah. The way he described so I'm, I'm, I don't want to butcher what he said and try and say mm -hmm. it verbatim. So I'm not going to try and like put words <laughs> in his mouth. But essentially, he was saying like Calypso was like you know speaking of what the people were doing, like the activism. But Soka can be more fit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, there's, so there's nothing a bit more wrong in that, but it can be. There is, there is, there is um, an element of conceptual, you know, Fact. Um, no, with Soka, but it is, yeah, it is more fair. It is more fair. Where Calypso it, is more designed to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but the thing about it was that Soka was supposed to be the evolution of Calypso because you see, mm. Calypso, Calypso was made by Africans, Very right? True. Yeah. And Soka was meant to unite people. It wasn't just for Africans. It was and when for you say Indians as well because it, it, the rhythmic yeah, structure is right. Indian and African. Can we be African. specific though? When I say that, it's like when you say bring people together, it's like our Caribbean people, to be Caribbean, you can be of different races. Exactly. You can be from anywhere in the world. No matter what you look like, you can be of like this, that or the other, but you're still a Trinidadian yeah. or a Grenadian or a Dominican. Exactly. And you've been blessed by god exactly you mm. know so i think it was a music to m- make caribbean people have a true identity and they're not they're no longer separated yeah. we're all intertwined exactly. now where that melting pot you Absolutely. know and that's where it it was supposed to take off where calypso left off and then be something greater but it got lost in effect because I mean, if you think about it, it wasn't just like, oh, um, we have Calypso and then we had Soka. For a while, we did. But then Calypso died because that's exactly what was happening. And that's why my grandfather felt the need to create Soka because he saw it dying before anybody else saw it. Really? He was like, he knew it was going to die. Yeah, so he saw the evolution in it. He knew, yeah, he, he knew he how was to, like, he knew this it needs to change, to, it needs to evolve. And to be honest, I feel like this is the crossroad that Soka is at right now. Me, that's how I feel. I feel mm. like it can Elaborate on that, please, sweetheart. Because, you know, like now, like how the world is so fast, like with social media and everything, like people, people need something that they can hold on to, whether it be for a moment or for forever. You know, um, I think a lot of our music over the years have, it's been bangers, tunes, great songs, but it's been a little disposable, just like all the other music that we consume today. Sadly, it's true. It's very true. So what is going to make this song be more like what's gonna make this song this soca be more than just for nothing Hill carnival for trinidad carnival 2023 for this festival for this moment here in time with my friends that i'm having so much fun i really you know? don't know the answer but one of the things i thought you don't have um people that love and represent our culture and caribbean culture and soca music in some of the rooms where they need to be so you'll see certain festivals we had wireless festival I don't care who I upset today, I'm going to say it to the camera. You've got every genre and they have every right to be there. But you, for a, a, a community that hasn't established, I'm a Dominican that speaks like this for a reason. I'm born and raised here, right? Mm-hmm. So you've got established Caribbean communities. You need people from our culture in the rooms when some of these decisions are being made. Like that's part part of the disconnect that you don't have, you're not bringing us to new audiences and new people. It's always like the same fair. It's always to the same people. But you need to like push out as well. Yes, true, very true. But then at the end of the day, these things are money making things. They go where the demand is, and a demand comes from people pushing the barriers True. and not playing it safe yeah. so if you're not there you're not there you know one day you should be if you take it seriously and that's why Caribbean people whether you come from Dominica Barbados Trinidad Antigua wherever you come from in the Caribbean you represent soca music you represent Calypso you represent whatever that yeah. is from the Caribbean you need to take it seriously and mm. that's what we do everybody in this room in our different realms whether you represent your Trini hip hop culture me and anything that's Caribbean and Dominica you and all your different genres of music like we take pride in our culture right yeah facts so i think we're doing it but i think you need more people to push and not be afraid that's fact i love that word of not be afraid because i think a lot of people i'm not afraid of anyone only my mother i think a lot of people (laughs) (laughs) not even god come on you gotta be afraid of god why are you trying to mix me oh my god get out (laughs) Uh, yeah you know i think um a lot of people are afraid but it's not their jobs. Let, wait for the people who are brave. Yeah. You know, yeah. who who ready. We yeah. brave. We ready. We don't Come stop. On. Yeah. We ready. Come on. 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 Come
<laughs> it's easy for them. You know what soca is? I just find it so easy for them. But it's that it's not like so, making soca is very difficult. Yeah. But, yeah. but I find that once you can make it, yeah. I find soca is it's this it's like drinking water for them. But it's but not easy. It's not easy genre no, music to make. And really, when you're I've listening tried, to the music, tried. and when you're trying to mix it, it's probably the one of the most difficult to mix. If you're like DJ, absolutely, and, and you're a producer of it, yeah, for it's, sure. It's not that, but it's like we're so effortly, effortlessly amazing. It just comes natural. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, we it. have two minutes before the end of the show, <laughs> literally. So I'm just going to mention that you are going to be with us uh, at, where's the venue on Friday? The venue is Akalam Village, Portobello Road. Okay. Port- Portobello and, Road. And yeah, the Labrook Ev- Grove. Labrook yeah. Grove. Yeah. Yeah. And if people want to get tickets, where can they get them from? At Access UK. Yes. And they could get it at Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Yeah, Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Yeah. And what's the event name on Eventbrite? Um, free carnival independent. Okay, Trinidad amazing. Trinidad and Tobago free carnival independent. Nice, nice. Cool. And then, like you said, you've got the beautiful, amazing, yeah. talented steel barn. Got peace. And I love. Without without a key to the steel barn. You know? I would talk to Medic, but he didn't come because he's tired. If, if, We're all tired. If, if, I'm there making know, costumes. If, 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 I have feathers coming out my boom boom. That's yeah. how tired I am. Uh, Are you ready for the road? If, if, yeah, if, if, I am. I make masks as well. If you understand this show, right? The show is really about one queen. The queen bee is Nina. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, so guys, I'm, I'm really sorry, but we've come to the end of the show. Thank you so much to my guest today. We come had on, people and support us. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Always. And I just want to say Thanks. send in love to the entire Always. Caribbean yes. community in London. I am here. Big up your whole self. Come out. It's going to be crazy. Friday night. Make sure and get your tickets. Y'all do not want to miss it. I miss you guys and I love y'all. So see y'all then. Awesome. Nice, nice. Awesome. And nice. get it. Yo, out. Oh, no, that's no. it. I, I don't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been a Dominique and M show. Me, your host, M's. <laughs>